Today we're going to take a look at the Orca Torch D511, a brand new dive light from Orca Torch. The Orca Torch D511 comes in this nice clamshell carrying case. Included is two lithium 26650 batteries, a wrist lanyard, a battery charger with both a wall plug and a cigarette port adapter, an adapter tube for the smaller 18650 batteries, three replacement O-rings, and a manual for both the light and the charger. The light will run on these two included lithium rechargeable batteries. It's the 26650 size. You can also use the 18650 size, two of these, with this included adapter tube. The light can also run on three C size cells. I'd recommend, however, just using the uh, lithium 26650 size that came with the light. That's where you're going to get your best performance. The 18650 size is smaller, so you're not going to get the pack capacity. And I'd recommend just using C batteries in a pinch. The light's not going to burn very bright with those batteries, and you're, you're going to get your best performance with these. One thing I really like about the D511 is how small it is for a light that uses two 26650 batteries. This is my Orca Torch D850, which I really like, that also uses two 26650 batteries, but you see how much bigger this light is. So to use the light, you'll insert the batteries in the tube. You want the positive end facing towards the light head. And then it's just a simple screw on, twist on to turn on. And when you twist it on all the way, the light will turn on. Twist it a little bit, it'll turn off. So it's just a nice, simple design. There's no power levels, no low battery warning. Just twist the light on, and then you can expect about a three hour run time. And sometimes simple is best. Nice and clean and simple, nothing complicated. I did test the light's run time in a bucket of water and published run times are pretty spot on, but towards the end, it won't be as bright as it is with fresh batteries. It's best to test the light in water to keep it cool. Even though there was overheat protection built in, it's better not to run for long periods above water. I've been testing the light now for a couple weeks. Let's take a look. Okay, we're out camping and playing with the new Orca Torch D511. So you can see it's very bright. Alright, that was a lot of fun, so I think the D511 is going to be a great primary light. Now I look forward to getting it in the ocean. Getting ready to head in with my Orca George D511. And the D710. All right, just finished a little snorkeling test for the uh, D511, worked really good. Also tried out the D710, like that one too. Both work great. Okay, so tonight right. I'm going to be trying out the Orca George D511 as my primary light, and the Orca George D710 as my backup. Okay.
Orca Torch includes a nice charger with a charger with the light that works with all these different types of batteries, including the 26650. There's a spring here, so it'll work with different battery lengths. So you just put your battery in. Now my batteries happen to be fully charged right now, so it's showing green, but otherwise it'll be red, it'll turn green when the batteries are charged. So I also have a jump starter with a battery bank and a cigarette port adapter. So with Orca Torch's cigarette port adapter, I can plug the battery charger and recharge my batteries remotely. So if you have a multimeter, it makes it easy to monitor your battery status. The battery is fully charged at 4.2 volts. So if I take a reading on this battery right now, you'll see it's at 4.19, so it's essentially a full charge. And I'm not sure if you can see this right here, but they're 3.7 volt batteries. It'll be fully charged at 4.2 volts. That's actually a good storage voltage. You'll get longer life if you store around that voltage. If you do about an hour, hour and a half dive like me, usually you'll be at that approximately that voltage at the end of the dive. So I finish my dive, then I'll just store the batteries until I get ready to start my next dive, then the night before or day, day of my next dive, then I'll charge the battery. So in conclusion, I recommend the D511. You really can't go wrong. Awesome light. Keep an eye out for my next video on the Orca Torch D710. Another new light from Orca Torch that's small and mighty.